Welcome to this tutorial on iframes in HTML. A normal HTML tutorial would usually teach you about frames before iframes, but since uh, frames have been getting consistently more and more outdated, and they're probably not going to be supported in future versions of HTML, I've decided that frames are probably going to be a thing of the past and iframes are where it's at. So we're just going to go straight to iframes. So in this tutorial, we're just going to be uh, basically uh, we're going to be using our website folder and uh, we've got our index page, which is going to be like our ninja page or our uh, or our penguins page if you've been following the tutorials, which is kind of silly, but hey, that's okay. And then we've got our pirates page or whatever you've been building. If you've been doing something different, that's okay. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to use iframes to put our uh, pirate page within the ninja page. So really cool little ninja uh, technique for us. So we're going to use an iframe tag, okay? Just going to be start iframe and end iframe. What an iframe back basically does is it's like a picture frame. It offers us a little window into another page. So the first tag is going to be iframe equals, uh, or, sorry, iframe, and we need to add an attribute source. iframe source equals, and then the path to our file. So our file is going to be pirate slash pirate page dot html pirate page dot html. So our attribute is uh, going to be space source src okay src for source equals and then in quotes we have the path to our file which is going to be the folder pirate slash and then the page pirate page dot html that's the file extension right. So let's take a look at what that does. <coughs> Here's our here's our page right here. There we refresh it and we get uh, see we have an iframe here uh, with our pirate page actually contained within the ninja page. Isn't that cool? That's really cool, I think. So we can view the pirate page right from within the ninja page. Scroll. Isn't that awesome. So, but I don't really like it because this is a really really small window to view our marvelous pirate page. So let's just change the width and height. We're going to change the width here. We're going to add an attribute width, and we're going to make it 700. Now, our, that's going to be in pixels, so it'll be 700 pixels wide. We're going to add a height of 200 pixels, which is going to be 200 pixels high. So we're going to save that and take a look at what it looks like. There we go. So that's a lot better. Now, what if we don't really want the border around the edge? Well, you would think for consistency's sake that it'd be just border equals, but it's actually frame border equals zero. So we'll just put frame border equals zero. We're gonna turn on wrap so we can see everything better. So go ahead and save that. And we'll just refresh it. And there we go. Now we got the nice pirate page with no border and we can kind of scroll around down there. Um why don't we why don't we make that eight hundred pixels? wide I think that would be I think that would be better there there I like that I like that very much so there's <laughs> there's our neat little iframe there it just contains another page right so you can put any page within another page is that cool you can just do that little scrolling thing so that's uh, just a neat little trick for you to use and our Ninja page keeps getting more cluttered and more interesting every day. Gammon vs. Loose, over and out.